Hey Stu, Slick Pins, what's inside the new Zanini Box subscription service? Even though technically I've addressed that to the crowd, I'm probably not a single stew to be found. Every single month, Zanini Box will deliver you pieces of flair. If you've seen office space, you know the requirement of certain numbers of pieces of flair on your clothing. But don't let the requirement of flair turn you away. Because every single month, Zanini delivers flair in a box. No, not the wrestler that goes, woo, that's, that's a different, different kind of flair. Inside, though, every single month, Zanini will deliver to you collectible pins that you can put anywhere. They don't have to necessarily be pieces of flair. You can put them on lampshades. You could pretty much put them anywhere, anywhere that a pin would be able to go, not in actual human skin. Maybe that's the way you display your pins. I don't know if I want to be friends with you. Anyways, though, every single month, like I said, Zanini Box will deliver to you pins. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up the box and check out the contents inside. Now, I do have to come clean about something. I've already gone ahead and taken the liberty of cutting the tape. And then I realized later, wow, this is going so smoothly. There's not a single stumble whatsoever until I realized I wasn't even hitting record. Oh, fiddlesticks. So we're going to go ahead and pretend. We're just going to use our imagination and pretend that I'm grabbing old red, which, by the way, red, let me just stop to say, it's nice to see you back. I don't know where you go. I didn't know where you went. I didn't know who you were seeing and what you were doing, but it's good to see that you came home. And always when you go out there searching the world, it's always nice to be able to know that you can still come home at the end. Anyways, we're going to pretend. We're just going to use our imagination. Hey, look at this. I'm slicing through the box. Hey, look, I'm slicing through this. Hey, look, I'm slicing through this. When in actual fact, I've already done all of that. Even though technically I did open up the box, I came to the realization that I didn't even hit record before I actually looked at the contents. Swearsies. I didn't actually do that. So this is all still a new experience for me. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the insert paper because that will reveal all the things that are inside. And like a magician, I want to sort of leave that for the last. I'm going to be asking the person I've been sitting with, what was the name of the card that you pulled from the deck? And she's going to say the Queen of Spades. And then sure enough, the Queen of Spades will be underneath that paper. Hey, how did you do that? I don't even know you up to the point of this this actual performance. That's the thing about magicians. How do they do it? There's obviously got to be a trick behind all of it, but they're slick. They're slick magicians. The first thing we're going to be looking at, though, is a selection of trading cards. One of the other things that Zanini does produce. A subscription service where you can get solely cards and cards of different genres. Like, for example, there's comic cards. Like, for example, there's movie cards. Like, for example, there's game cards. Hey, Mega Mania. That's pretty cool. No, it's not Mega Man. It's Mega Mania. Each one of these cards have a very unique thing about them. If you look around to the back here, it tells you the name of the comic, in this case for the comics, or the name of the movie. Let's go with, you know what, let's pick out E.T., because we're always quick to go with the comic cards. But I'm going to pull out E.T. to give you guys a closer look at it. This is the original movie poster of E.T. You can see Steven Spielberg film. Very, very nice. It's a nice thick card with notable rounded edges. You don't have to worry about poking your eye with these. But on the back, it tells you the name of the movie, E.T., the extraterrestrial. Director was Steven Spielberg, distributed by Universal Pictures. I like this because it tells you the release date as well. Yes, you could Google this stuff, but back in the day, you wouldn't have been able to Google crap. You would have to go to your local library. But a release date, though, is June 11th, 1982. Were you around in 1982? And then there's the running time of 114 minutes. Now, I've never really scanned the QR code, which would be this little barcode down below to know on movies. But I know with comics, it generally takes you, I think, to an Amazon link where you can download the actual comic breakdown, the whole comic archive for that run. I would have to look it up for the movie here. But then there's also a section here that if you happen to stumble into meeting Steven Spielberg, or you happen to stumble into meeting E.T., give me a call, by the way. I would love to sit down and have lunch with E.T. I'd be curious what it would be eating. Maybe it's just Reese's Pieces sandwiches, like deep fried with a little, little bit of Gouda cheese. That sounds disgusting. But I would love to sit down and talk and chew, chew the... Is it chew the fat? Is it chew the fat when you're talking to somebody else? I sit and chewing the fat. I'd like to chew the fat with E.T. But those are a pretty neat card that come included also along with the Zanini pins. 
So obviously we're going to want to be looking at the pins. So I'm just going to slide the cards over and let's reach in and one at a time, we're going to pull out a pin. We're going to talk about it. So maybe have some fond memories about the movies, the TV shows that they're based off of. The first one though, is Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. I really do like this one. This one doesn't actually have a border to it. Sometimes the Zanini pins tend to have borders. Mike Wazowski is one that doesn't need borders. I'll flip around to the back, and this is basically the way that it attaches. You know, just as an idea, if I can just throw that out there casually, and maybe if Zanini Box happens to be watching these videos, I think it would be a fun idea if they gave you a backing that was flat. So basically it pinned on like this, but then the back section was flat and it was a magnet. So if you wanted to use these pins instead of just putting them on fabric, imagine if you could turn them into magnets and you could stick them on a fridge. No, 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 no. I, I don't need any royalties. I, I don't need a cut of the pie. Just a just an idea thrown out there from one fan of pins to another. Give us a couple of magnet backings. I think that would be fun. Be able to put these on the fridge. Anyways, we're going to put down Mike Wazowski. And we're going to reach into the box and grab the next pin. And fittingly enough, for Halloween and around the October season, we've got Beetlejuice. I don't go out of my way to watch Beetlejuice. But certainly if it's on TV and it seems to be around the circulating web and TVs right now, the TV stations. You always seem to stumble onto Beetlejuice sooner or later. And this is, of course, Beetlejuice, just a torso of Beetlejuice, just a bust of Beetlejuice. No arms, no legs. He literally has no body. I'm here all night. A nice detail done onto uh, Beetlejuice, complete with that scummy kind of markings he's got on the side of his face. Is that mold? What is that? Moss? Mold? Other? I hope it's not other. But it's a nice looking pin. It's sort of a an amalgamation between a live action version of Beetlejuice and the cartoon version of Beetlejuice produced by Nell Vanna here in Canada. Let's see what else we got going on inside the box. Next one here is a G.I. Joe Baroness. This is fun. I've been collecting the G.I. Joes along the way because I've been continuing to get these Anini boxes here. And ever so often I get the hopeful feeling that I'm going to be getting and pulling out a G.I. Joe pin. And luckily now we got ourselves Baroness, one of my personal favorite members of Cobra. You can see there's Baroness. I'm guessing, I don't know if that's a Cobra logo behind her. It certainly looks like it should be. That's pretty cool. Magnet Axe, just throwing that out there. The other thing we got inside the box, another pin to pull out. We have Fallout 4 right there. Now this one, even though it does look like it's got a cog back to it, it's actually just him by itself. Very, very cool. Again, I don't know if I mentioned it, but there's the website down below if you guys are interested in subscribing to the Zanini Box. It's www.zaninibox.com. Oh, and there's more. We're going to still reach in. I think there is, there may only be really one pin left. Let's go ahead, check out the contents. Oh, well, it's not magnets, but we did get ourselves some alternate backings for our pins. Those all always come into handy. And then the last but certainly not least, we got ourselves Black Widow. Again, it's sort of just a bust of Black Widow. No arms, no lower legs. A refrain from the joke this time around. And again, a fitting pin right now because we are going to be eventually getting the Black Widow to theaters. I don't even know when it's going to be coming out now. Like, is it 2024? Sometime mid-spring 2024? I joke because obviously these movies, unfortunately, are getting pushed back further and further just with due to the uh, conditions of the world right now. Well, that's a good-looking pin. It doesn't look like Scarlett Johansson, mind you, but it certainly does evoke the look of Black Widow right down to the Black Widow logo in the middle of her chest. That's a very nice-looking pin. And then, of course, going back to the card that I had the person draw at the beginning of the show. No, actually, in actual fact. It's just the insert card to tell us exactly the pins that we got inside this month's box. Fittingly enough, for October, it's the October 2020 box, and at least there was something Halloween related. If you were lucky enough to get yourself the basic subscription, which would basically be these three pins right here, you would be then eligible for a Beetlejuice, a Mike Wazowski, and a Volt Boy. If you then wanted to upgrade one other notch to standard, then you're basically getting all the three pins that I just mentioned, along with the Baroness. Or if you consider yourself lucky and love pins like I do, all the way to the end, you can get yourself the premium. 
And I guess the premium, I don't know if the premium also includes the cards down below here, because I noticed the bar goes all the way to the end. In other words, if you did get the basic and the standard, you may not be then eligible to get the cards also. But the premium would basically give you Black Widow. Premium would be giving you all five pins, one, two, three, four, five, as well as all the cards that we looked at down below. If you are interested in subscribing to the Zanini box, you can click the link down below in the video description and you can subscribe today if you like pieces of flair, if you like bling, if you just like to decorate. And just an FYI again, maybe the idea of putting magnetized backs, things that you can put on the backs of these pins, just, just throwing that out there as an idea. If you guys are also liking the idea of maybe subscribing to this channel because you haven't done so yet, click the link down below and subscribe to this channel. You can also move on over to that bell notification and also as a good idea, turn that on, turn that bad boy on. That will be a friendly reminder to let you guys know the 411 on when new videos are popping up onto this channel. I can also sort of let you in on a secret. Don't tell anybody, okay? Between you, me, and the other four people watching. I hope there's more than four people watching. Just know that Monday to Friday, 12 p.m., 12 p.m., and 2 p.m., 2 p.m., Monday to Friday, new videos will be popping up on this channel. So keep your peepers peeled for new content popping up on this channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.